open the door was open for some BCS buses to make a run for the title game. Number four, USC taking on Cal at the Coliseum. First quarter, USC up 3-0 inside their own five. Brandon Meebane blowing that up. Cal cuts the lead to 3-2. We move to the second quarter, or was it the second inning? Cal down 6-2. Nate Longshore to Robert Jordan. Down inside the 10, first and goal for the Bears. Longshore, 17 of 38, a buck 76, and a touchdown. And here's the touchdown. Longshore to Lavelle Hawkins. Cal takes a 9-6 lead into halftime, but USC must have gotten quite a talk for Pete Carroll at the break. Third quarter, David Bueller on the kick. His first ever field goal attempt, 49-yarder. Got it. Game all knotted up at 9. Fourth quarter, same score. USC at the Cal 25. John David Booty to Dwayne Jarrett. And he holds on. USC up 16 to nine, looking to make it 32 straight at the Coliseum. Later in the fourth, on fourth and two, Steve Smith, 37 yard touchdown on fourth and two. USC up 14, trying to make it 19 straight in November. Later in the fourth, Cal trying to come back. Marshawn Lynch, their great running back, appears to be down here, but he keeps running. And he keeps running. And he goes 62 yards for the 62 yards for the touchdown, but wait a minute, we gotta take another look at that. And upon further review, Lynch's knee clearly down, play overturn, no touchdown. 88 yards on 20 carries for Lynch. Now fourth and three for Cal. Long short trying to make something happen. That's not what he had in mind. USC wins it. Five straight Pac-10 titles for the Trojans, and they're still in the title game hunt. Oh, it's awesome, man. Everybody did such a good job tonight. It's such a big win for this team, you know, in this program. I think it's our fifth straight uh, Pac-10 title. So just to be a part of that is, is awesome. Wherever they put us, they put us, you know. I know we're playing a great schedule. That's all I know. And we're winning. So uh, we'll see what happens at the end. <clears throat> I'll be the last guy to campaign for that. Well, Coach, we do care about the BCS. The Trojans get their fourth win over teams ranked in the BCS Top 25. None of them have been close. to beat Arkansas, Cal, Nebraska, and Oregon by an average of 23 points. And they can make it 5-0 against BCS-ranked teams by beating Notre Dame next week. Then they close out the season against UCLA. Well, you said it. Notre Dame, USC next week. Would the Irish be looking past visiting Army? How would the Irish look in green? Change from blue to green for the game. They haven't won in green since 1985. They lost to USC last year in green. Remember, BC ended their undefeated season in 2002. 99 Gator Bowl, 90, 95 Fiesta Bowl. Green was not good. An opening drive. Brady Quinn, get him out of the green jersey. Intercepted by Jordan Murray. He had thrown a school record 226 passes without a pick his first in seven games second quarter Notre Dame down three nothing Quinn Darius Walker touchdown Walker had 162 yards and two scores later in the quarter it's not a Notre Dame highlight without Jeff Samarsha 25th career touchdown catch Notre Dame 13-3 any doubt about the power or lack of power from the green jersey a race with a 20 point second quarter Quinn to Raymond McKnight cool. what's on your mind fellas 41-9, your final coach Weiss admitting he's already watched every play USC has run this season. Notre Dame and SC each have one loss. They're in the top five in the BCS, both averaging over 30 points. A rematch of one of last season's best games when USC won 34 to 31 at South Bend. But remember, Leinert and the guy who helped push him into the end zone were run by USC early. A ticket to the championship conference game awaiting the Hogs if they win at Mississippi. Chris Houston intercepting Michael Henning. First quarter, no score, not anymore. 87 yards. Woo, pig suey. 7-0 Hogs. Ensuing Bulldogs possession, though. Third play of the drive. And Anthony Dixon, the true freshman from Jackson. Yeah, I'm going to Jackson. Look out, Jackson Town. 65 yards for Dixon, and this game is tied at seven. Remember Mississippi State coming off that win against Alabama. Well, on the kickoff, Darren McFadden, he's going to go 92 yards for a touchdown. He'd be held to 84 yards rushing, but he gets some run here. Arkansas 14-7, 21 combined points in a minute 50. Third quarter, Arkansas 21-14, and that Houston is a nut. Trick play, McFadden to Felix Jones to Casey Dick. Can you hook a monk up? Marcus Monk in Arkansas wins 28-14. SEC championship in two weeks at the Georgia Dome. Hogs, Gators for Arkansas. First appearance in the title game since 2002. First since 2000 for the Gators. Arkansas hosts LSU next Friday. Florida plays the Seminoles Saturday. You say Florida? 
Yep. They couldn't pick up any BCS points for playing Western Carolina, but the Gators sure had fun. Urban Meyer 12-0 at the Swamp. First quarter, no score. Look at Deshaun win. It looks like Edwin Moses here hurtling, folks. Touchdown, he scored twice. Florida up 7-0. The Gators had touchdowns, touchdowns, on nine of their first ten possessions. Second quarter, Tim Tebow runs this one in. He was also 10 of 12 for 200 yards and a pair of touchdowns through the air. Florida up 27-0. And then later in the second quarter, just so you understand, Brandon James back to receive the punt. Hands up and wave and wave because he's gone. 77 yards for the touchdown. The Gators in a lap for 62 zip. They allowed just 53 yards of offense for Western Carolina. So here's a look at what all of the title contenders did on Saturday. Ohio State with a whole lot of practice time now till the first week of January. Michigan isn't out of it, but they need some of the other top contenders to lose to solidify their status for a rematch with Ohio State. Two games loom large, two games we told you about. Notre Dame, USC next week, plus Arkansas and Florida in the SEC title game. But Florida gets Florida State first, and then Arkansas still has to play LSU. Back to campus in Baton Rouge, LSU trying to stay in the BCS mix, taking on Mississippi. 27-point favorites, but down 20 to 14. Fourth and goal, 18 seconds to play. Jamarcus Russell to Dwayne Bowen. Russell's done it again. He ties the game at 20, but they still got to make the extra point. Bowen thinks it's all over. Cole David blocked by John Jerry. So the game went to overtime, tied at 20. In the extra session, Ole Miss would get the ball first. Facing a third and five, Brent Schaefer under pressure, hit by Daniel Francis, Tyson Jackson with a recovery. So LSU just needs to score to win. Here's David, another try, this time for a field goal. Got it. LSU wins at 23-20 on senior night. They go 8-0 at home, and they go to Arkansas on Friday, as we mentioned. Hey, don't forget about Boise State. They started today 12th in the BCS. They have to finish there or higher to get to a BCS Bowl. They had Utah State on the blue field on Saturday. Opening drive for Boise State. Brett Denton to Legadoo Nene. He reverses field. And he takes it down inside the 20. That would set up a Denton touchdown. Denton ran for 125 yards and 17 carries. He was in for the injured Ian Johnson. 14 0 now. Jared Zabransky up top to Gerard Rabb. Zabransky efficient. 21 of 23 for 236 and three touchdowns. Boise State up 21 0. Third quarter now. Zabransky to Quentin Jones. He'll take it in. And he's going to celebrate with his people. Got a penalty, but so what? Boise State still alive in the BCS mix. 49-10 the final. Yeah, recognize the whack. Iron Bowl, Auburn at Alabama. Tigers going for their fifth straight win in the series. That hasn't happened in 50 years. Second quarter, Bama up three. John Parker Wilson, fear the thumb, and Quentin Groves. Auburn recovers. Brad Lester scores four plays later. Next Bama possession. Wilson, Groves, fear the thumb. Auburn recovers on the Bama 8. Very next play, Kenny Irons. He's got reservations for 6. Auburn up 14-3, the 14-9 at the half. Bama scored late in the second and early in the third. Looked like Coach Shula had him going. Wilson to Travis McCall. Alabama 15-14, two-point conversion failed, but late third. On a third and 15, Brandon Cox to Prashe Rodriguez. Remember, leading receiver Courtney Taylor out with the hammy injury. They'd go for two, get it, 22-15. Now, just over five minutes left. It's a seven-point game on a fourth and 15. Coach Shula goes for it, said it was the best thing to do. It, it didn't work, but they got the ball back. Sweet home? No. David Irons. My last name is Irons, and this is the Iron Bowl. I'll have that forever. 22-15. Fear the thumb. First three letters in Saturday are SAT, so let's go Harvard and Yale. It's the game. Yale had won since 2000. Fourth quarter, Harvard down 27-7. Clifton Dawson. <laughs> He coughs it up, and look at Steve Santoro, right place, right time, 38-yard return for the touchdown. Yale goes up 34-7. Take another look at it. Freeze it. I said freeze it. All right, there we go. Santoro gets it off Dawson's back, right into his hands. And he's gone. Yale wins it 34-13. They will share the Ivy League title with Princeton. They snapped their longest losing streak in this series. And they're getting better jobs than you. You're 
the most played rivalry in the history of college football. Lafayette and Lehigh. First quarter, Lafayette's Brad Maurer to Sean Adair. Touchdown, 14-7 Leopards. Share of the Patriot League title on the line, and Jonathan Hurt putting the hurt on Lehigh. He scores from eight, and Lafayette beats Lehigh 49-27. 13th most played rivalry. Kansas, Kansas State, Sunflower Showdown. Josh Freeman fumbles in the end zone. Russell Borson recovers. Touchdown, Freeman, six turnovers. The freshman, he was so good last week in the upset of Texas. So bad this weekend. Anthony Webb, he's thinking Wangberger at the wheel. Kansas Bowl eligible. They win 39-20. to How about up in the great Northwest? 99th meeting between Washington and Washington State. They call it the Apple Cup. Chris Stevens blocking it, falling on it, and the Huskies up 28-17. The Huskies laid an egg last week against Stanford, and they're going to end a six-game losing streak. Lou Rankin, he's got skills. Bill Dolba, the, the dog, uh, Cougs coach, said, if we can't beat the Huskies, we don't deserve to go to a bowl game. 35-32, Willingham's team wins. Oklahoma has never lost to Baylor, 14-0. Bears hoping to play spoiler in their last game of the season. Bob Stoops coaching them up. 6-0 Oklahoma. Blake Zemanski intercepted by Reggie Smith. And Reggie's going to go 42 yards for the score. 13 nothing sooner. Smith set up another touchdown with another pick later. Third quarter, Baylor kicking off after Zemanski was sacked for a safety. And do not kick it to Joaquin Iglesias. OU with 23 points in the first nine and a half minutes after the half. They win 36 to 10. Iglesias goes 88 yards. Oak State up next for Coach Stoops when they're rooting for AM to beat Texas, that's for sure. BC's Ryan Glass for head over heels about his team's chances in the ACC's Atlantic Division. Tanking on Maryland. First quarter, first possession for the Terps. Sam Holland back the option to Daniel Kendall. He got drilled. Jalon Dunbar takes it in for the 14-yard touchdown. He said, oh, man, this must be my lucky day. Not for Kendall. Ouch. BC up 7-0. Still for his Maryland second possession. Holland back pitches from him. Guess who? It's Dunbar again. It's really his lucky day. He should go to a casino tonight. BC up 14 another. He's got two touchdowns in the game on defense. Third quarter, more of the same. Holland back picked off by Dewan Trouble. He's going 42 yards for the touchdown. Three defensive touchdowns for BC. They win at 38-16. Both teams still in it. West now, John Beck, the BYU Cougars trying to wrap up the conference title with a win over New Mexico at home. First quarter, BYU up 7-0. Beck, lob pass to McKay Jacobson. And look at it, he took the ball off the defender's back for the score. 14-0, BYU. Second quarter, Beck to tight end Johnny Harleen. And a big man is rumbling. He's in there. Touchdown, and Beck becomes the second BYU player to throw for over 10,000 yards in his Cougar career. Ty Detmer was the other one. Then up top for Matt Allen on the fade. Beck, four touchdown passes, 464 yards in the air. The Cougs are back. They win the Mountain West for the first time in five years. Beamer's Pokies. Early in the third quarter, Sean Glennon finds Josh Morgan. He'll go 53. What a great adjustment to the ball. And then running right through the defender's tackle, Josh Morgan takes it in for the score of 53 yards. 14-3, Virginia Tech. Wake Forest has only a single conference loss coming into this game, but the Virginia Tech defense dominant. Kevin Harris is knocked down, fumbles. Xavier Adibi, scoop, score. Hokey, hokey, hokey high, 27-6. Tough day. They've had things wrapped up for a couple weeks. Miami taking on Virginia. Larry Coker wondered earlier this week how much his team had left in the tank, and judging from Charlottesville on Saturday, it didn't appear like they have much left. Mill Sewell running and scoring, and then young quarterback doing it again, Luke. Uh, this is just a fine execution. He got such good athleticism very quick. Because he's taken over as quarterback the last five weeks. As a freshman quarterback, Virginia's done well. The Hurricanes... The Hurricanes have really had a rough year. You know about the off-the-field tragedy they've endured and then the ugly incident against FIU. Lost eight of their last 13 against 1A teams. They've averaged less than 16 points per game during that time. And if they can't upset BC on Thursday, they'll finish 5-7, their worst record since 1977. Make it very difficult 
for Larry Coker. Some believe that decision has already been made. It is rivalry week. Hey, how about the Hog Trophy? That's a gorgeous trophy. The best one I've seen in years. Floyd of Rosedale goes to the winner in Iowa and Minnesota. Brian Cupido gives it to Jay Thomas. The Pig, I'm going to say in Minneapolis. 34-24, Minnesota beats an Iowa team that's been in the empty elevator shaft of late. The old oak and bucket, Indiana and Purdue, Dory and Bryant. Reverse! 15 yards. This, this first half was horrific with eight turnovers, but Purdue wins it 28-19. Indiana eliminated Purdue. Recovering from his knee and leg injuries in the booth to watch Penn State take on Michigan State. Penn State turned it over four times in the first half. Joe was probably looking for a ride back to the house. Sparty's Brian Hoyer found Kerry Reed for the touchdown. 10-0 game in the second. Anthony Morelli to Andrew Corliss for the TD. And it's 10-7. It's 13-7 now. Sparty unable to take advantage of all those turnovers. Morelli to Jordan Norwood. 14-13. SMU and Tulsa, the Mustangs, haven't gone bowling since the death penalty. And Tulsa not trying to help them. Courtney Tenail made it 10-0. But then Justin Willis, freshman quarterback, scrambling. 27-24. Bill Bennett's team taking the lead. Blake Warren scoring. SMU bowl eligible. 34-24 the final. Here's the Pontiac Garage. Time. Here we go. It's Sports Center's top 10. Buckle up because they're all good. Duke and Georgia Tech. Reggie Ball to Calvin Johnson. Georgia Tech wins 49-21. They're already in the ACC top game. Good thing there's basketball because Duke is now 0 and 11. Number nine, number nine, Tennessee. Tennessee ain't no team Vanderbilt wanted to see. LaMarcus Coker. Hand off and lift off. 87 yards. He had 125 rushing yards. Tennessee, 39-10. Number eight, Michigan. Ohio Great State. Fake. Wide open. Game. Touchdown, Ohio State. Troy Smith, strike a pose. We got more from this game coming up later. At number seven, we go Arkansas, Mississippi State, and you know where Darren McFadden's running? To the Georgia Dome. Because Arkansas is in the SEC championship game. McFadden goes 92 against Mississippi State, and Arkansas wins it 28-14. Number six, Washington and Washington State, Cody Ellis. You like apples? How about them apples? Juggling catch, 64-yard touchdown, and Washington wins it. 35-32. Look at that. Great concentration. And then he's off to the race. I like eggs. Rutgers with egg on his face. Davila throws on the run as his tight end Brent Sellick. Sellick looks for a couple of blocks across the 50. 40. 30. Sellick still on his feet at the top. Are you kidding me? At number four, it's Cal and USC. John David Booty to Dwayne Jarrett. Shades of T.O. in that game against the Packers. And Jarrett hangs on. USC wins it 23-9. At number three, bartender. Give me a Bex. John Beck, 464 yards, four touchdowns. BYU beats New Mexico and is going to the Las Vegas Bowl. Kay Jacobson, the great catch. Number two, Maryland, B.C. Danny Kendall, look out for Larry Annum. A little bit too late. Jalon Dunbar with the recovery. He had a pair of touchdowns, and B.C. wins a 38-16. Still in it for that Atlantic Division title. Okendo's still trying to figure out where he is. Back to the shoe for number one. Michigan giving up an average of 231 yards per game. They gave up 503. Chris Wells, 52 right there, and Ohio State by three. 